Campuses are crowded with eager students, each armed with ambition and the hope of a bright future. They spend years and a lot of money on school because they think that getting a degree will help them get a good job that pays well and keep their finances stable. The harsh truth is that many of these educated people end up having trouble to pay their bills. They find themselves trapped in debt, living paycheck to paycheck, and wondering where it all went wrong. Let's explore 17 reasons why this happens, taking advice from Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger. Reason number one, they believe education will give them financial stability. Most people attend university level education for security reasons, believing that a degree will guarantee job stability and financial security. However, the harsh reality is that there is no true security in the labor market, or anywhere on earth for that matter. Warren Buffett wisely said, the best protection against inflation is your own earning power. This shows how important it is to keep learning new things and improving your skills instead of just relying on school. Charlie Munger also emphasizes the unpredictability of life and markets, stating that it's not the bad ideas that do you in, it's the good ideas that get you. Both Buffett and Munger suggest that instead of seeking security through education alone, individuals should focus on becoming indispensable by continuously learning and adapting. The labor market is ever-changing, and those who can pivot and grow with these changes are the ones who will find true security. Reason number two is they have arrogance for having a degree. This is usually what they think of themselves. I am well-versed, knowledgeable, and have a degree, so I am entitled to have a job and become wealthy. Graduates often don't think beyond their certificates, believing that a degree is the ultimate key to success. However, Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger emphasize the importance of continuous learning and practical experience. Buffett has famously said, the most important investment you can make is in yourself. This means not stopping at formal education, but constantly seeking new knowledge and skills. Charlie Munger adds, in my whole life, I have known no wise people who didn't read all the time. None. Zero. Graduates need to understand that a certificate is just the beginning. Real-world success comes from applying knowledge, gaining experience, and adapting to new situations. Reason number three, certificates often prepare students for a world that no longer exists. Experts believe that many of the skills taught in schools are becoming obsolete as the world rapidly evolves. Warren Buffett stressed the importance of adaptability, saying, in the business world, the rear view mirror is always clearer than the windshield. This means that relying solely on past knowledge and outdated skills can be a hindrance in the fast-changing world. Charlie Munger shares this sentiment in his emphasis on multidisciplinary learning, stating, you must know the big ideas and the big disciplines and use them routinely, all of them, not just a few. The current job market demands skills like critical thinking, technological proficiency, and adaptability, qualities that are not always emphasized in traditional education. Graduates who want to succeed must go beyond their degrees and keep improving their skill sets to fit the demands of the modern workforce. In an ever-evolving global economy, this proactive approach to learning guarantees that people stay relevant and competitive. Reason number four, the numbers game. There are two common ways to make money, by serving lots and lots of people or by serving people who serve lots and lots of people. As unfair as that may seem, this is why a footballer earns ridiculously more money than a school teacher. The entertainer offers value to millions of people at a time, while the teacher offers value to very few people at a time. Warren Buffett often speaks about scale and the importance of reaching a broad audience. He says, your premium brand had better be delivering something special, or it's not going to get any business. This illustrates the necessity of offering value to large numbers of people. Most educated people focus only on the depth of value they provide, whereas highly successful people focus on both depth and breadth of value. This is why you see an average individual with an average idea become wealthy while the intelligent and academically educated person barely gets by. In the game of money, intelligence alone is not enough. You must either have access to the numbers or have access to the people with the numbers. Take J.K. Rowling, for example. She became a billionaire by selling over 400 million copies of the Harry Potter series. That's the numbers game in action. 
Interestingly, teachers are now making a fortune by using the internet to reach a larger number of people. Platforms like YouTube, Udemy, and other online education sites allow educators to teach thousands, if not millions, of students globally. This shift demonstrates the power of leveraging technology to scale one's reach. Charlie Munger often emphasizes the importance of scaling in business. If you don't get scale economies, you're going to be outcompeted. Understanding and applying the numbers game can transform an individual's financial trajectory. Reason number five, lack of financial education. Buffett and Munger often emphasize the importance of financial education, which is not typically covered in traditional academic settings. Understanding how to manage money, invest wisely, and plan for the future is important for financial success. As Buffett once said, the best investment you can make is in yourself. Educated individuals often lack this specific knowledge, leading to poor financial decisions. Reason number six, overconfidence in knowledge. Educated individuals often fall into the trap of overconfidence, believing that their intelligence and education alone will guarantee financial success. Buffett warns against this, emphasizing the importance of humility and continual learning in financial matters. Buffett famously stated, risk comes from not knowing what you're doing. Overconfidence can lead to risky financial behavior without proper knowledge or experience. Reason number seven, failure to control spending. Buffett has famously lived a frugal lifestyle despite his immense wealth. Many educated people fail to control their spending, living beyond their means and accumulating debt. Learning to live below one's means is a key to financial stability. Buffett advises, do not save what is left after spending. Instead, spend what is left after saving. Reason number eight, avoiding risk. Munger points out that avoiding risk entirely can be as detrimental as taking on too much. Educated individuals might shy away from investments due to fear of loss, missing out on potential growth opportunities. Munger emphasizes that weighing risk and reward is essential, saying that all intelligent investing is value investing. Reason number nine, misallocation of time and resources. Buffett and Munger stress the importance of time management and focusing on high-value activities. Many educated people spend too much time on low-impact tasks, neglecting opportunities to increase their financial knowledge and investment skills. Buffett's focus on reading and continual learning underscores this point. Reason number 10, instant gratification. Having a job means a consistent salary, which often leads to buying liabilities instead of investing. Educated individuals with stable incomes may fall into the trap of spending on things that do not generate income, like expensive cars, gadgets, or luxury items. By continuing to save instead of purchasing a new iPhone each year, you can invest your savings and allow them to grow, securing your financial future. Additionally, you can reinvest dividends to allow them to compound, rather than taking them out and spending them on new tech gadgets. Charlie Munger reinforces this by stating, the first rule of compounding, never interrupted unnecessarily. Instead of spending their entire salaries, individuals should focus on investing in assets that appreciate over time, such as stocks, real estate, or businesses to build true wealth. Reason number 11, rich people collaborate while poor people compete. Wealthy individuals understand the power of collaboration and leverage the strengths of others to achieve mutual success. Warren Buffett once said, it's better to hang out with people better than you. Pick out associates whose behavior is better than yours and you'll drift in that direction. This highlights the importance of surrounding oneself with capable and like-minded individuals. Reason number 12, they don't work hard. Many educated individuals work hard, but they do so for their bosses instead of building something of their own. They can work 9 to 5 for someone, but not push themselves to work 5 to 9 on their own skills. Working for others may provide a steady paycheck, but true financial success often comes from creating and growing your businesses or investments. By focusing on building personal assets, individuals can achieve greater financial independence and long-term wealth. Reason number 13, low consumption to production ratio. Many educated individuals have a low consumption to production ratio, meaning they consume more than they produce. 
Warren Buffett underscores the importance of productivity, stating, the more you learn, the more you earn. This implies that continuously increasing one's ability to produce value is important for financial success. Charlie Munger also emphasizes efficiency and productivity. Spend each day trying to be a little wiser than you were when you woke up. Educated individuals should focus on creating value, whether through work, investments, or entrepreneurial endeavors, rather than merely consuming goods and services. By increasing their production relative to their consumption, they can build wealth and achieve financial stability. Reason number 14. They make excuses for not saving. Many educated individuals struggle financially because they don't save enough. Despite earning a decent income, they fail to prioritize saving, often spending their entire paycheck or even living beyond their means. Charlie Munger highlights the critical role of savings in financial security and growth. The habit of saving itself is education. It fosters every virtue, teaches self-denial, cultivates the sense of order, trains to forethought, and so broadens the mind. Regular savings provide a safety net for emergencies, allowing for investment opportunities and compounding over time to build substantial wealth. For example, consistently saving 20% of one's income and investing it wisely can significantly enhance financial stability. Automating savings through direct deposits to a savings or investment account can help maintain discipline and ensure that saving becomes a regular habit. By prioritizing savings, individuals can protect themselves from financial uncertainties and build a solid foundation for future prosperity. Reason number 15. They accumulate bad debt. Many educated individuals find themselves financially strained because they take loans and accumulate bad debt. Instead of leveraging debt to invest in appreciating assets, they often use it to finance lifestyles they can't afford. High interest loans and credit card debt can quickly spiral out of control, leading to significant financial stress. Charlie Munger also emphasizes the pitfalls of debt, stating, The idea of getting rich quick generally doesn't work. It's much better to get rich slow. Accumulating bad debt not only drains resources through interest payments, but also limits the ability to save and invest. To avoid bad debt, individuals should focus on living within their means, avoiding unnecessary borrowing, and paying off existing debts as quickly as possible. Reason number 16. Apart from bad debt, they have student loans too. Student loans are a significant financial burden for many educated individuals. While higher education can lead to better job opportunities, the high cost often results in substantial debt that can take decades to repay. The weight of student loans can hinder financial progress, making it difficult to save, invest, or pursue entrepreneurial ventures. To manage student loans effectively, graduates should prioritize paying down high interest debt quickly, consider refinancing options to lower interest rates, and avoid additional unnecessary debt. It's also beneficial to explore income-driven repayment plans that align with their financial situation. By tackling student loans strategically and making them a priority, individuals can reduce financial strain and work towards building a more secure and prosperous future. Reason number 17. They often rely on just one job. Failure to diversify income streams can lead to financial vulnerability. Relying solely on a single job or source of income is risky. Buffett advises, never depend on a single income. Make investments to create a second source. Exploring side hustles, investments, or freelance work can provide financial security. For example, starting a small business online or investing in rental properties can generate additional income and reduce financial risk. While education is undoubtedly valuable, it alone does not guarantee financial success. Instead, constant learning, strategic planning, and calculated risks are necessary. Which reason is most relevant to your financial journey, and what will you do to address it? Let us know in the comments below. Also, watch this next video if you want the American dream with low income.